Okay, what's better than Rust with Polars and AWS Lambda? A URL that we can call to filter queries into the data frame. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at how that would work. First up here, we have our code, and you can see there's a general tree structure here. So if I say tree-i, and I filter by the target, you can see the structure, which is lib main uh, right here. So now that we've got that structure, what do we need to do to get this thing working? Well, let's go ahead and CD into Polar's uh, land, Lambda Axum. There we go. And inside of this particular project, notice here I'm using a web framework to do the routing for me, but I'm still doing this inside of Lambda. I have a Hello World route, and then I have a simple route here that is able to look at the Iris data set that I've got included. I filter and I pass in this five value, and then I calculate that from this data frame. So it's using the lib here, which has all of the fancy polars code here, and then I'm going to pass that in and then convert it to a JSON payload. Now I just call it inside of my async function here. So pretty straightforward to test this out locally. What do we do? Well, we can just type in make watch here, which runs the cargo lambda watch command. That's simple. Now all we need to do is curl it to test it out. So we know there's two routes. So let's go ahead and do curl first, localhost 9000. Awesome, that works, hello polars. And then if we wanna pass in some parameters, we can do filter five, there we go, awesome. So it's working, now what do I do? Well, let's go ahead and kill this terminal here and then let's uh, push this out to production. So let's go ahead and do a make, um, build, and deploy. So let's do this command first, make build and make deploy. All right, this is gonna do a very efficient ARM64 release because I love saving money. And while this is deploying, once it's successful, what we'll be able to do is actually turn on the URL function feature inside of AWS Lambda and then remotely invoke it, which is pretty fun. Okay, our Lambda was deployed successfully. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at it. Next, if we go over to our Lambda functions here, let's look at last modified and let's refresh it 15 seconds ago. That's the one we want. Perfect. Let's go to configuration here and let's go to function URLs. There we go. Let's do it no authentication for demos, all right. And we can just copy this function URL and then we can go back to Visual Studio Code and we can actually trigger this thing. So let's go ahead and do that next. So we'll just type in curl, awesome. And then we type in filter, we type in, uh, and then we do iris, filter, five, Beautiful. So we have a full web service that's using polars and we're using the AWS Lambda function URLs. I call this victory.